Yes, hello. My name is Maurice Akroche. Welcome, welcome. Yes, good afternoon, good evening, good morning. Yes, no matter the place you are, welcome to our YouTube channel. This is Maurice the Crochet Master, and if you're so new on this channel, you better click on that right that you always get updated on the videos that I upload every week. And this is the channel that you always find different types of hairstyles. Yes, that is like natural braiding, weaving, and and uh, everything that you will always need to learn. So today we're going to see something that is very, very interesting. And this is a braiding the kinky, the Afro kinky braids. Uh, on this one... Uh, we have been plating it, but uh, there is something that I just wanted to uh, to come up with, like showing you how you can always uh, first make these lines before you start the braiding. Because this is very, very important. That's why I always see that whenever I do um, uh, these kind of braids, they will always uh, look like uh they will always be perfect and if someone looks at my client will always tell that this is comes from morris the crochet master and even even if there are the people that i work with i always have i teach them how to do it this way so this is why i would always want to let you know that whenever you're trying to do these braids you always have to first make these um these lines before you start the, the way they help in and making your lines perfectly and even when it comes to um uh, 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 packing like your hair packing the braiding yeah because we all know that when it comes to kinky it is the most most uh, protective uh, hair extension that you can always use even if you have weak hairline but though it can also be as the most uh uh, it can also be bad when it um, when you use it badly it will always uh, break your hair and those are the complaints we always get from different people uh, from different and professional people that uh, their hair breaks because of kinky and for me I don't take it that way because I know how to handle the hair with afro kinky hair extension so it is very easy to make it right if you try to follow all these uh, procedures you always uh, make it right number one as we have finished making the lines yes as you can see from down i make sure i braid it going upwards this is like doing the knotless format because i always teach you how to do the inward knotless and these other normal knotless braiding so if you are braiding this is how you do it like it goes up and this one i always do it to those ones who always love to hold puff yes we have different clients that uh, that we have clients who would always want their braids to fall down and then we still have those ones who would want their braids to be up you understand like holding puff or styling or is to style it in uh, uh, up outdoors so uh, that's why we always have to first ask first before we do all these now when i asked her she wanted the long afro kinky bird she's like she always hold it puff like her selling will always hold it puff now when we are doing it that's why the first line the second line the third line for it i can always braid it when the braid is looking up for the protectivity so that the hair is protective and um 
uh, it will be going in the right direction you understand so that is number one and number two when it comes to uh, someone telling you i want long afro kinky braids what needs to go in your mind is that if it is long you don't need to overpack the hair yes you don't need to overpack the hair remember the kink is already long and you're trying to overpack it it means it is going to be heavy on someone's head and when it is the night this person needs to um to organize for the sleep you'll find it is very difficult for them and now as they're organizing or trying to sell they uh they, they start uh causing tension that uh, that will lead to the brokerage of the hairline so you always have to mind about also how you're going to pack the the head like how you don't need to overpack the hair because when you add a lot of extensions also very bad and it will lead to the brokerage of the hairline and number two we all know the kink is already soft you understand the kink is soft this is the hair that you can even wash in just a minute it dries so it would be the best hair extension that we can always use when it comes to that but now if you try to look here as i was telling you from behind i was bringing it from down but here i'm going it from the sides <clears throat> sorry like i'm i'm braiding like my braid is going now to the direction of the path remember where well, always hold the path so it means this is coming like this in the inwards not less and the other one is going upwards in the in, uh, in the inward or not less braiding so you'll find the hair is not painting at all and there is no any tension causing so this person by the time to rem she removes the hair her hair will always be like it will always be looking very very um healthy so for that please i would like you if you have any comment that you need to comment about this hair yes you can go right in the comment section tell me what you feel about this hair and uh, we are using the afro kinky from darling company yes you can always search for it i'm going to put the description in the, the link in the description so that you can go and choose the hair that you'd want it's afro kinky from darling company so if you try to look here in front i try to apply my molding gel the way it's supposed to be and then this is how it is so after i after adding my molding gel I just come and divide into three portions just like that you see then as i'm bringing my hair i hold it this way and the other way i just add it in inside and then i start braiding if you try to look at this braiding it is gentle very gentle and no pain at all no pain at all that's why most of the times i always even recommend this kind of braiding to the kids yes i always recommend because i know it is very protective and someone will always uh, her hair will always grow healthy than breaking and we all know that when it comes to kinky the more it grows the more it looks very very nice so yeah this is, would be the best hair extension that you can always use and have and love your hair like and uh, love what you have done so this is what i got for you but please let's try to see how all comes up and uh, this is how you can always join in the kinky we all know how to braid the braiding is very easy uh, but the only thing is don't make it hard as you're braiding make it soft yes and um, this is going to be very perfect for you so for now let's try to see how it is going to look like Oh, no, 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 no. Nobody do it like Boris. The Cratchit Master. Cratchit Master. He got the Boris of the Cratchit Master. Yeah. No, no. Morris got the touch of a Cratchit Master. No, no, no. He got the touch of a Cratchit Master. Oh, yeah. A touch of a Cratchit Master. Morris. Yeah, yeah. He got the touch of a Cratchit Master. Cratchit Master, Morris, you're Cratchit Master, Morris, you're Cratchit Master, Morris, 
Ratchet Master Now, this is the point that I've been telling you that most of the times whenever you're trying to do these kind of braids, please, please make sure that your puff is this small. You understand? Make sure that your puff is this small. Don't exaggerate and add a lot of extension. It will not make sense. It will make uh, this person uncomfortable for her hair not to enjoy so this is what i got for you you can see how soft it is and very soft light on the head my name is maurice the crochet master remember we got the school of beauty here at our clippers hair by clipper school of beauty you can always come and join us we are already we have already started yes the the, the um, uh, you can come and do the course that you'd need for the hairdressing bye bye see you in my other next video Jangu, jangu.